Welcome back. Time now 644. A big concern for drivers, especially during rush hour, is the amount of stop and go traffic due to our traffic lights. 3 News Now traffic reporter Max Charlton has more on what's driving you crazy. Max? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Omaha is on the brink of what one traffic guy calls a revolutionary step. A tra adaptive traffic lights that are supposed to keep traffic flowing and prevent you from sitting at one red light after another. I usually hit one light and then I should be able to get to the next light and make it through that one, but I don't. A problem Jack Urban sees almost every day. As Center Street, which is where we're near and near my home, uh, it seems like I hit every traffic light. And he's talking for miles. From like 180th Street all the way down to 72nd Street. A thoroughfare which is only getting busier. 120th and Center is uh, now basically the center of the city, so there's a lot more traffic coming through here right now. That's why the city is putting in an adaptive system, traffic lights that will adjust to actual conditions using sensors to monitor the streets. We're finally there. You're, we're hoping to see the one on Dodge yet this, this season. Look for it soon on West Dodge from roughly West Roads to UNO. Where are we at with the rest of the city? Up next, 132nd from the Jewish Community Center to the Hy-Vee north of Dodge. They will be our first two signal timing projects that involve adaptive control systems. For Jack, it's a great idea compared to the current timing plans. This will save on people's gasoline, save on time. And ultimately, Fitzer says, fix some of the congestion. It's because the traffic in Omaha is getting worse, not better. And if you have some concerns about the roads you travel and they drive you crazy a little bit, find me on Facebook and on Twitter. In the studio, Max Tarleton, 3 News Now This Morning.